good works. Well, that passage right there kind of gives the balance between the faith and, and works, if you will. But more than that, if you look at the first statement, you're, you're saved by grace through faith, and that not of yourselves. As evangelicals, fundamentalists, what is the that they're talking about? We always know what's God's grace. God's grace is a free gift. The faith is yours. You have to choose to accept Christ, but the grace is a free gift. That's not what Paul is saying. He says, you're saved by grace through faith, and that faith is not your own. So if your faith does not save you, then whose faith saves you? Christ's. It's His faith that saves you primarily, and it becomes your faith. Yeah. But, but it, that explains why we baptize babies. It explains so many other things. Um, this idea of, of corporate salvation, incorporation, it makes sense of predestination. If you study what Scripture says about predestination and election, you don't find where God elects certain individual people to be saved and everyone else is going to hell. What you find is that we corporately are elect. We corporately are predestined, which means as long as I am part of the we, yes, I'm predestined. <laughs> if I'm no longer part of the we, I'm out of luck. Yeah, yeah this individual is, especially in America, I mean, that's, that's our whole mindset. That passage, we need to take a break here, but that passage that you were uh, referring to, actually in the context of Ephesians, another aspect of that is the, I, you know, Paul, you can see that passage is Paul not even referring to the salvation at the end of life, but that by grace you've been saved from that former pagan way of life, not because when you were pagans you did such great works, but by grace you've been brought out of paganism into the body. Right. That's the context he's talking about there. It wasn't because how good you were as a pagan that you became in the body. It's because of God's grace. And, and following on that, we are say if we are saved as part of the body, the goal, salvation is not, I'm going to heaven. Salvation is, I'm going to be conformed to the image of Christ. Heaven is the benefit. Yeah, yeah very good. Let's take, a, let's take a break. Come back in a moment with some questions for Michael Matthews, former Baptist minister. See you in a bit. Marcus Grodi's books are available through the EWTN Religious Catalog web store, including How Firm a Foundation, Journeys Home, Thoughts for the Journey Home, Pillar and Bulwark, and What Must I Do to Be Saved? Marcus discusses how our salvation involves more than simply an individual's faith in Jesus. To get your copy of any of these, including What Must I Do to Be Saved, log on to our web store, EWTNRC.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or call 1-800-854-6316. 